Hit it back yard, I see. Hello friends, welcome to Vintage Backyard RC. It's a beautiful day in the backyard and uh, we're finally getting to our Kyosho Turbo Scorpion. Now of course this was a gift from the RC Elf. We did do a build series on that which you can see um, here or over here. I don't know where these cards end up. I'm terrible at that. But uh, click one of these things uh, if you want to see this thing being built. Now sort of like the Ultima, Kyosho did beef up a few things on this car from the vintage piece they gave us a stronger gearbox and bigger shocks, bigger wheels and tires. And I know I didn't do a showcase on the Ultima because I do have an original one, but I don't have anything else from the, the Scorpion lineage, the Tomahawk. I have none of that stuff. So I kind of want to show you guys how the suspension works. So we'll do a little footage on that, hit the track and make some laps, and then, uh, of course, do the slow motion and have a chat down below. So that's it, guys. Let's roll the footage, have some fun, and have a chat when we're done. Based off of Kyosho's original 1985 Turbo Scorpion, the 2017 re-release kit is a faithful visual reproduction of Kyosho's iconic off-road buggy. And while the re-release features many seemingly identical parts, Kyosho was wise enough to beef up most of the running bits to keep this buggy flying. Kyosho started things off by supersizing the wheel package. Out back we have these amazing 2.25 spoke wheels mounted to super soft knobby rear tires. Up front, the same size 2.2 inch wheel mounted to these cool soft ribbed front tires. Here you can see the Lexan upper body, which features this amazing functional roll cage and this cool looking driver figure. The roll cage features this little release lever that helps to keep the body secure to the chassis. They also gave us this very strong and functional 8th scale style buggy wing mount that mounts to the top of the gearbox. Underneath that scale Lexan upper body is an ABS plastic lower body that houses all the electronics. It keeps everything sealed, dust free, and dry. Probably my favorite feature of this car. That assembly mounts to those two iconic lower frame rails. The rear gearbox features metal internal gears and a sealed rear gear differential. These are housed in a strong aluminum case. Kyosho also included a rear slipper clutch to reduce traction loss. Up front we have oil shocks mounted to an adjustable trailing arm suspension. While out back we see that same robust trailing arm system, beefy oil shocks and a pin style dog bone drive axle. So will this beauty have what it takes to be king of the hill? Or will this slightly outdated suspension package be more of a nostalgic feel than vintage fast? Let's find out. Good way to end it, bud. <laughs> well, guys, this car was amazing to drive, 
In fact, if I didn't crash at the end there, I probably would have made another 10 laps. I was having so much fun driving it. But is it quick? Well, let's find out. The Turbo Scorpion did it in. Zero seconds. Wow, a 1060. Almost king of the hill. I can see why the car handled great. So let's hit that slow motion and have a chat about it. Wow, what can I say, guys? 10.60. That's almost as fast as our Schumacher Topcat, and it literally blew the doors off the Kyosho Ultima. And you might say to yourself, man, that's impossible. The Ultima has way better suspension technology than the Turbo Scorpion. But it comes down to one thing and we talked about it in our Ultima video, and that's grip, or available grip to the car. You see, the Turbo Scorpion comes with a much softer front tire, which helped big time. It's also much heavier. Now I know we don't usually like to add weight to a race car, but in this case, it kept the car planted and allowed it to rotate through the corners quicker. And on my track, corner speed is king. I'll give this car a recommendation. It has that vintage feel, it builds well, it's strong and sturdy, and it's a blast to drive. So that's it guys, I think once again we've proven that advancements in engineering doesn't always equal faster lap times. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you did, hit that like button and please subscribe if you haven't already. Oh yeah, rock on.